Well-known traveller Davy Hughes is a regular visitor to Auckland Airport's math counter. Familiar face. Go. I've taken everything possible. <laughs> An avid hunter and collector, he's just returned from two weeks in the crazy mountains of Montana and the freezing wilds of Nevada. I travel a lot and you know if any if there's anything that that experience has taught me over the years is you know to clear everything when you come in, especially if you're not too sure of it and just leave it up to the experts. Dave seems to delight in winding up customs and math offices. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. I can just have a look at your arrival card, thanks. Yeah. Six years ago, go. he bamboozled them with this split-barreled shotgun. Well, this is kind of like every uh, every bear hunter's nightmare. And, uh, <laughs> oh, no. We collect a collection of fur. Kind of like those furry things. And bad taste car ornaments. Better than a bull bar. And this year, Davies at it again. His unsuspecting target this time is math officer James. Oh, OK. This is exciting. I've got a bullfrog. <laughs> Bullfrogs. I can't resist. <laughs> well, I think it's all been tanned pretty okay. well. Yeah. I'll just use it to keep my... Um, keep your coins in? Yeah, coins and bits and pieces in, so... Yeah. I thought it would be pretty cool, you know, just... Shove them in your pocket and go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it doesn't look much, just yep. because we can't see inside the head. Okay. Yeah, so that, that there might, might need treatment as well. Cool. Luckily for Davy, this bullfrog is not an endangered species. But James will be looking for anything that's on the international endangered list, otherwise known as CITES. But he's not expecting anything like what Davy pulls out next. It's pretty old. Yeah, it does look very old. Yeah. And, um, yeah. <coughs> so where, where else did you find find this? Or um, was it, you get it from a shop? From Alaska. From Alaska. And it's um, yeah, it's a, a, I don't know if it's a tibia or a fibia, but it's um, from from a mammoth. From a mammoth. Yeah. Wow. So I don't know about the sightings on. Well, I have no idea either. I, I just imagine there's very few people that do know the sightings on the mammoth. We definitely have to refer this one to the Department of Conservation just just to see what they've got to say. It's obviously not an endangered species because well, there, no, is, there is there is there is no <coughs> such thing anymore. Forty-five thousand years ago, yeah. they became extinct, wasn't it? So, um, and that's a mammoth tooth. A mammoth tooth. Yeah. So maybe that can go with the leg bone. And you, you said the, you, you found these ones, is, is that no, right? No, they were gifts from a They, they were friend, gifts. So. But Davy's not finished with the prehistoric relics. Well, I've got a few of these um, uh, pieces of petrified wood. Okay. You can sort of see them. You know, they've still got bark on them, obviously, but... Yeah. I think they're like tens of thousands of years old. Okay. That was found in the, in the crazy mountains in, um, in Montana. Speaking of hard objects, Davies saved the most unusual items to last. Okay. Do you know what they are? I have no idea, no. I guess they're, they're bones, but from what, what animal? Um, there's five or six animals in the world that have got um, bones in their penises. Oh, okay. Um, the, these are the, penis the, bones. These are them. Yeah. That's where the term um, boner comes from. And what, what type of animal penises are these? <laughs> uh, uh, coyotes and, coyotes. Um, yeah, and uh, a raccoon, which is surprisingly has, you know, quite large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, any one of those would be yeah. a decent size, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I might just wash my hands, actually. We've <laughs> got some alcohol or something. We're, we're not finished. But just okay. when James thinks he's seen everything, he wonders if there's an unexpected side to macho hunter Davy. <laughs> okay. The mascara's for my daughter, okay. <laughs> that's right, that's fine. I've, I've seen worse in gentlemen's bag mascaras. Maybe so. But most of Davy's collection still has James stumped. Penis bones, mammoth parts, bullfrog purse, knives, furs, and petrified wood. I've been here for, for two and a half years and 
you know, you, you, you deal with these so, so little, you, you, you forget the processes of, of, of what you actually need to do. So that's, that's, I'll go in and check up on the, on the computer system just to see exactly what um, requirements they, they need to meet. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks, and hopefully we give, give these back. They probably get, don't get too many of those uh, penis bone uh, swivels, swizzle sticks either. But um, yeah, they're just a little bit interesting and I've got a little interesting collection of um, things at home from all around the world. I'm sure when they see me coming they think, oh, cool, you know, we'll, um, we'll see what this turkey's got with him today. It may be the oddest collection MAF has encountered, so but they still need to check the they aren't carrying any pests or diseases. So these, these ones here, the, the mammoth bones, beaver skins, okay. Yep. All right. These ones here will go for treatment. So it looks like Davey will get his stuff back. Okay. I'm, I'm sure my wife will be ecstatic. A lot of brownie points there, I guess. I have. Very nice. I'll have to go away now and figure out how to spend them. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thanks. We'll see you again. But Davey has the last word before he heads for the hills. Yeah, I don't know if James is a math officer. I think he's a surfy. I mean, you know, blonde hair, tall, handsome, all that sort of thing. I think they brought him in. But um, yeah, I think I think it stunned him a wee bit when he saw, when he saw the penis bones. So, uh, but the next time he sees them, he'll know exactly what they are. So that's important.